No, not you with your... With your giant cleaver. Your cloud strife sword at your side. Hello everybody, I am freaking adorable just like this fluffy bunny. Yeah. Duckling. I don't think I have a bunny. I think I've used it before and it didn't work. Anyway, not the point. Point is, we are playing Resident Evil. This is part four for us. Hopefully we'll get to reveal a little bit more of the lore behind it, because I don't want to reveal anything to the story. Uh, I have given little hints here and there, but overall I think I've kept it hidden pretty well. Uh, you weren't here before. You were not a thing. You weren't there. And uh, I told you about the town, how it manifests according to the individual person. Uh, each person will see something different. The creatures will be different. The, the atmosphere will be a little different. Uh, where they go in the town is different. The town basically forces you to deal with whatever you're going through. Where am I going? Point is, this door should now be open. And I don't know what's in here, but there is a very big area. Some kind of courtyard. What am I going to fight? No, not him. No, not you with your... With your giant cleaver. Your cloud strife sword at your side. Yeah, nope. See? Oh, you missed. Oh, yeah. That's not great. Yeah, that, that worked last time, I'm sure. Well, I'm glad I saved up my ammo. Ow, that hurt. That should have instantly killed me. I'm glad it didn't. I am on an easier setting. Really? I thought for sure I was part of losing you. Oh, come on. Seriously? Can't even run away from this guy. His sword's so big. Giggity. Oh, it just gets right back into the fight. I didn't even have time. Alright, yeah, let's do this. Should I just run away from him the whole time? I feel like I'm not doing any damage. Maybe that's what I gotta do. <clears throat> Maybe I just have to run away for like three minutes. Maybe it's a survive. Because the, uh, the, the thing is, the, the steam went off. The steam went off uh, when I wasn't shooting him. It was after he cut through something that the steam went off. So I'm gonna try running around for a second. See if that does anything. I know this is really boring, so I'm going to end up probably skipping part of it. Because I could be wrong. Maybe I do have to shoot him. No idea. Yeah, I only shot him like five times. And now he's faster. All right, so it, it very well might be a, it very well might be a time thing. I'm not gonna waste my bullets. If this is a time thing, then I'm, I'm just running in circles the whole time. That was close. I hope I don't it's accidentally run into him. 
sounds like he's behind me. Let's keep it that way. Come on. I didn't realize that it's it's raining right now. That, that's a new feature. I did not realize that this, it was suddenly raining. How I missed that, I don't know. This seems to keep the idea that this is a timed thing. Because it'd be one thing if like, I had to hit a certain point on him, or I had to get him to attack something specific. That was a time thing. Good. But it only wasted five minutes. It's weird hearing the siren though for the first time. Because this is the first time hearing the siren, but I've been in Make Your Way Out of Blue Creek Compartments. Cool. Uh, I got an achievement. Uh, but. The siren is supposed to be the switchover from normal world, or misty world at least, to this rusty Silent Hill place. So it's weird that this is the first time we're hearing the siren when clearly I'm in Silent Hill. And now we're back to the normal place. So maybe the siren was just saying it's the end of the rusty time? The other world, and it's a little bit different than the last one, but or the uh, original, I think. But maybe I'm wrong. Pretty sure we heard the siren when the whole place changed into everything wants to kill you mode. I don't even know where I'm at. Where am I? Oh, I am at a completely new place. Anyway, another point. We're going to Rosewater Park, and we're having a cutscene. Hey, Lara. Hey, it was you, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You're the one who stepped on my hand. Hmm, maybe I did. Turd. What's a little girl like you doing here anyway? I don't know. What's a big dum-dum like you doing here anyway? Oh. Hey, that's not very nice. Yeah, her did parents teach you any manners? No. Father didn't hug her enough. What you got there? None of your business. Just curious. You didn't love Mary anyway. What? Hey, wait! That was a low blow before running off. How do you know her name? Bum bum bum. Because the child. I don't know if this is going to reveal anything or be an Easter egg or uh, not an Easter egg, a uh, spoiler, but if it is, sorry. The child also has a letter from Mary. I'm not going to tell you what it says, but there's that. Just so's you knows. There it is again. What is that? That's freaky. Whatever it is, it's freaky. I don't like it. It's always off to the right, too, for some reason. Oh, there we go. Oh, syringe. Nice. Typically, if you find a syringe in a park, you don't want to take it with you. You're best off just leaving it right where it's at. Unless there's like a needle disposal thing right nearby, and then drop it off there. But otherwise, hey, don't don't touch it. This is it. Oh, Mary, could you really be here? Yeah, I suppose it's possible, but I'm gonna be looking around for other things to pick up first, buddy. So you hold your horses there. Nothing. Oh, there's some. Pete's Bolorama, Neely's, uh, what is that, Never Too Late, Quiet Cocktails, Tea's Italian Restaurant, Jack's Inn, Boat, Silent Hill Historical Society, all right, oh, I can read it, dumbass, I'm, I'm hitting R, there we go, welcome to Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town, we're happy to have you, there's no player put, ah. <laughs> sorry, 
There's no better place than here <laughs> to let go of your busy schedules and finally enjoy a relaxing vacation. Rows of quaint, rustic houses marked with, or marked, mark a, fuck, I can't read. Mm. Mark a gorgeous mountain landscape, and as the dawn turns to dusk, the surface of Toluca Lake, which is actually in L.A., not Maine, so I don't know why they decided to uh, put that in there, but there is no Toluca Lake in Maine, so just have Silent Hill there and then say Toluca Lake is kind of stupid. They very easily could have gone with Sebago or Moosehead or any of the other hundred lakes that we have, but that's fine. Shines a whole range of dreamlike colors. Silent Hill will move you and fill your heart with peace. Ah, we're more than certain your time here will be pleasant and leave you with memories that will stay with you forever. As I draw my weapon by accident, but totally fits. I don't like their idea of being happy. Rawr, bang, 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 bang. Oh, it's a headless horseman. Actually, it's a headless horse, too. What do you got? Patrick Chester, son of Edward. He fought and died for the people, for liberty, and for all of our tomorrows. His memory lives on. I don't know who that is. Huh. Neat. This one? No. This one? No. Alright, I won't look at any of them. Fine. Uh, one thing I can reveal to you is that this game, at least the original, had four endings. Uh, there was a good, a bad, a meh. And then there was a, another one. Oh, two more headless figures. Uh, there was a, a fourth ending that was a secret ending. And uh, I think... It, I know the original three had them. Maybe four and up had them too, but I don't, I don't know. But they were pretty fun. They were literally just a funny ending. And in number two, I think specifically, if you did the right things, you had to get all three endings to even get it. But then after doing the right thing, there was a key that you'd pick up in the very beginning of the, uh, the, very beginning of the game. And there was a door that you would get to about 10 or 15 minutes in that was locked every single playthrough. But it kind of was like, oh, you could get a key to this. Memory of the 67 who died of illness and now sleep beneath the lake. Beneath the lake? Ooh, no thank you. They're buried at sea. Uh, anyway, 10 to 15 minutes in and it, it was the secret ending. That, that close. That kind of rewarded you for... Uh, I wasn't sure if that had something to read. But they rewarded you for playing through... By giving you the fourth ending so quickly. It was kind of nice. And it was funny. There's water park again. Locked. Yeah, okay. Well, nothing to pick up. Alright, just go down here. Let's see what's up. Ooh. Oh, she is here. Mary? No. Maybe. Definitely not. No. You're... not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No, my... late wife. I can't believe it. Your face, your voice, you could be... My her. name is Maria. I don't look like a ghost, do I? <laughs> no, you do look awkward, See? though. I'm not sure. Um, sorry, I got confused. I'm not sure who they got to model her, but okay. her face looks a little awkward. Where are you going? I need to find Mary. Didn't you say she died? Oh. Yeah, three years ago. It's It's just... I got a letter from her. A letter? I know how it sounds, and I'm not, I don't. Hey, it's okay. So, what did the letter say? She said she was waiting for me in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? I, uh... I don't know anymore. There 
was something. I just, I can't quite. Hey. I think I might know. I mean, there's this one place. Not far from here. What kind of place? My apartment. I don't check one. Where's my goal special? I can show you if you want. Unless you have somewhere else to be. Something else to do. Hey, <laughs> easy there. I'm just messing with you. It's like her. It's this way. It's like her head is just a little bit too big for her body. Can't you just tell me where it is? No. Wait. You're just gonna leave me here? You were already alone. Uh, I... Alone? With all these monsters around? You survived so far. No, I, I just... Is it because... I remind you of her. Yes. You loved her, didn't you? Duh. Didn't you? All right, just... Come on. So it's okay. James is in his what twenty, late twenties, been looking ragged, maybe in his thirties, and this is supposed to be like a copy paste of his wife. Now, if you're in your thirties and you got pink highlights at the bottom of your hair or pink tips, or whatever, yeah, I think you made some wrong decisions in your life. Maybe, maybe just be an adult at that time. Yeah. Uncanny, meet Maria. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Uh, get past her. Get past her, James. You're going faster. Yeah. You did it. It's magically open. What? Is something wrong? Yeah, that was locked. It's nothing. It's not nothing. That was locked. Now, I wonder if I didn't try the door, would he have still said that? I wonder if that's just a little extra special thing that you can do. Why are all the adults headless? That seems a little strange. Want to take a breather? Me, Archie. I know, I just... I'm sorry, I'm just a bit preoccupied. It's fine. You know, if there's anything you want to talk about, anything at all... No. Let's just keep moving. Oh, can't go in there. Can I go in the woman's? Did you back up? Did you back up? Thank you. I can go in the woman's. Oh, nice. There's medicine and a toilet. This place we're going to, what is it exactly? It used to be kind of a special place for young couples in these parts. I think it's easier if I just show you. What was missing? that? Just a woman. Killed for no real fault of her own. By moral upstanding folk. Victim of common theme, I guess. Persecution by in history, you know. You done talking? Of Clinton uh oh. Jennifer Carroll? Something? Live with pride and honor. What happened here shall never be forgotten. Well, it it will be if uh can't read what happened. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. So far from home. Fourteen? Seventy-four? I wonder if I have the code now for the uh, the door. Uh, I forget where it was too, but... I wonder if we got the code now. Nothing? There. We can go through the motel. That's an inn, not a motel, but I'll forgive you. Hmm. Well, what's in here? Anything good? Why'd you do that? I'm looking for stuff. This is how I look for stuff. I'm angry and frustrated. It is neat that you reacted to that, not gonna lie. 
Do you mind? Either start smashing windows or get out of my way. Ah! You startled me. No, I didn't have been smashing windows the whole time. You little liar. Alright, now what is this place? Uh, it doesn't sell you. Alright. Maybe I can't get into it. Maybe I can. Huh. Ooh, I need a jack. Okay. I wonder if Jack's in has it. Ah, but um chee. Oh, anything in here? Nope. Nope. Really time. You're fine, shut up. Alright, I'm gonna try going all sorts of places. At the Baldwin Mansion. No, I'm not. not. Through here. No reason to. It's the wrong way anyway. <sighs> Several cut off. Nice. Well, that was quick, wasn't that? Wait a minute. Does being here mean I can never get back to the other map? That mean I can never get back here? There's a keypad I never got to use to get into the Grand Market. Oh, I better, better be able to get to that and use that keypad. Because I found, I was, I've been searching all over and I did not find anything there. If I can get around to go to Cat Street at some point, I might be all right. Otherwise, I'm going to be really pissed that I missed something. Because I don't get it, man. I, I really do. I look. Hey, wrong way. We already passed the motel. Hey, shut up. I'm not asking you, am I? Either you go along with me, or go to the motel yourself. I just don't care about you. Yeah, what was I saying? Something James, about... Your wife... Yeah. She like... Or is... Sorry, I'm not... That's fine. Why do you ask? Just curious. I'm not sure I want to talk about it. Oh, come on. You said we look alike. At least give me something. Well, she, uh... She liked to play the piano. I'm not sure if you're really that much alike. Oh? I don't strike you as the pianist type? No. Let's just leave it. You strike me as the pianist type. James. Nothing, really. You know we're heading the wrong way, right? Yes, I yeah, do. I, uh... Just... Bear with me, okay? <laughs> Whatever you say, big man. I thought for sure something would have cut me off by now. I am almost to the friggin' so historical society. James? You're fine. It's just a bug. Alright. This is it? No, this is something else. Can I get up and around to the historical society? Really, I missed. Y'all good? I assume that these things also look like creatures to you. Because you said you're going to leave me here with all these creatures. So I just, I assume they look like creatures to you. 89 bullets. Dang. Smash it. Nothing safe with you around, huh? No, especially you. I didn't think I could go this far. This is fun. I like exploring. I didn't mean to hit that button. Sorry. Hey, um, I'm all for taking the scenic route, but we're not getting any closer to where we want to be. Just so you know. This road... Hmm. Block. Yeah. Has been for a while. You know what's in there? Not sure. I'm not even sure when was the last time anyone's been inside. Oh, yeah. You don't remember the last time someone's been inside? Mm hmm. Sure. Alright, at what point am I going to be forced to turn around here? Pretty sure I'm off the map now. Almost. Is the bridge out at least? Something? Maybe. But if we had gone... Now. Yeah. If we had gone to the hotel and we wouldn't have seen this. I can leave by not leaving. I can only leave by not leaving. What? What was that? 
Oh yeah, that's new. I didn't fight you. What killed you? I did not fight you. I didn't fight you either. That's weird. That's weird that two of those things just ended up in a pool of blood. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I'm at the bowl of Rama. I don't need to be here yet. Eh, screw it. Sorry. I can. I can. Again. Yes, I like smashing windows. Deal with it. It's just a quirk I have. Uh, you know, uh, you can wait outside if you want. I'll just look around the place. Why would I want to wait outside? I... I thought you might not want to. James, if you don't want me around anymore, you can just say it. <laughs> no, it's not that. I'm just a... Straight thought. There gonna be anything in here? This is a place I'm supposed to come later. Oh, random save. Yeah, sure, why not? Hmm. Ugh. This town's full of monsters. Who could just sit here and eat pizza? Hmm, I don't know. But uh, it just it said achievement of leftovers. Find the pizza at Bowl of Rama. Not sure why. But. All right. I'm glad I didn't somehow trigger a cutscene early before I'm supposed to be there and uh, cause the game to glitch. Pretty cool that you can still explore like that. Car with ammo in it. Again. Maria, I swear to God, if you don't shut your mouth. Huh. How far down can I go? There's the wall. Things. No, it's just some bugs. Calm down. I told you there's nothing for us here. Let's head back. Calm down, I got it. Huh. What is it? Nothing. Just deja vu. Hmm. Wonder what that was. I wonder if I'm finding like key moments from the original or something. Because this one's slightly different, yeah. <clears throat> Duck! Jeez. What the? Oh, really? I'm fighting big guys in the freaking bug over here. Really? Still 75 and we some melee weapons. I got another two. Oh, I ducked underneath him. What now? Is the bug somewhere? Oh, yeah, on the wall. A couple of them. Oh. <laughs> oh, you son. You aim at them and they know you're aiming at them. <laughs> I win. Alright, now that I have the jack, I wonder if I can go back. Oh, nice. Focuses in while I'm walking toward them. That's pretty cool. I think they're gone. For now. Seems like it. Yeah, you want to stay dead, buddy. Trust me. Oh, okay. Really? Right by their head. Just for good measure. Oh, okay. I like those ones. Those ones are real easy. What was all the static for? Oh, there you are. Oh, 
Oh, and a bug. I don't know where all these creatures are coming from, just because I went down to the end and found a note. Now they're punishing me for having explored. I think we're getting close to the... Uh, oh, maybe not. I mean, it's next to the hotel, but it's not the hotel. Oh, 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 oh you've got to be kidding me. Hey, Maria, would you do something? Something useless? Thanks. All right, I got a syringe. Not bad. But before I go there, I have a new thing. la dee da dee da dee yeah, I would feel so bad if I missed what the frick that code was. I bet you I did, though. I bet you this is like, oh, chapter one, chapter two. Now that you're done chapter one, you can't get back. Because I don't think I have anything. I'll check it. I don't think I have anything revealing any type of code, except for those pictures I was finding. So, anyway, let me check real quick. All right, somehow I did miss it. Um, apparently... A block and a half away. Let's see if I can if, if I can do this. Do do do. Spec this up. All right. So, yes, Sanders Street at the bottom middle. Apparently, there's a blue truck with a dead guy and a couple of notes scattered around him. I went down that way. You know how I went down? I know I went down that way because I see the dead ends. So anyway, apparently I missed the notes there that have numbers written on them. You're supposed to add the numbers up. And blah, blah, blah. Point is, the key code to the market is actually 4444, which seems a little weird to me that it's all the same. Anyway, nothing majorly important in there. It was handgun ammo and health drinks. So I I would just have, instead of 98 shots, I would have 100 and something. And instead of 15 health drinks or whatever, I would have like 20. But it, it, I'm glad I didn't miss anything important. There wasn't like a, the shotgun wasn't in there wasn't anything story related but i still can't believe i missed it like i said i i take time you just saw me i ran all the way up the right side of the street and all the way down the other side and somehow i do that every time and somehow i missed it i don't get it i just don't get it you ever stayed in a place like this the walls are so thin you can hear everything love hate jealousy good for you if anyone needs anything, I'm fixing the pipes at 107. Okay. Good to know. Oh, geez. I hope I don't miss the opportunity to do that. Can you can you move? Can you move? Thank you. Move! I'm, if I'm pushing towards you, for the love of God, you're a AAA studio. If I have somebody in my way and I'm pushing against them, have them recognize that and move out of my way. I think I'm actually getting used to you smashing stuff up. Good. I'm glad. You should be. Not sure why there was a handkerchief right there or whatever James, that thing is. Is everything all right? Hey, you okay? <laughs> it's like you froze for a second. Yeah, I, uh, it's fine. All right, that's pretty cool. This looks exactly what he did when the first time he came across one of those. Because it's it was real time. Look. It was a real-time event. Strange. And I went back from the garage. Yeah, that's strange. I, um... Never mind. Let's find a way to get it open. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so I spent so much time looking for the note thing and the, uh, the, the, the key code that I missed. That I freaking forgot to use the jack on this. So I'm glad I have the jack. That's great. I get to open this up. Hopefully it's got something more than just ammo and health drinks. I guess I'll take it. I mean, the ammo is useless or useful. I was about to say useless, but still. Yeah, I'll just crawl in. Um, you sure that's a good idea? Nope. Yeah, it's fine. Just give me a minute. Hello. Hey, you okay in there? Can you let me in? Yeah, in a second. Mass layoffs at Brookhaven Hospital threaten the institution's future. As we reported on last month are continuing, over 10 people have been let go, which has reduced the hospital staff by more than half. There's only 20 people working there. If the situation does not improve, staff shortages will put patients at risk. Duh. Bookhaven is a hospital with a long history. It was established in 1810 when a deadly epidemic swept through the Silent Hill area. Ever since, it has incessantly brought help to the... Incessantly? It's a strange word to use when it 
and involves help uh, to the residents of the town. However, more and more have made their voice heard of how the presence of psychiatric of a psychiatric hospital in the middle of town has a negative impact on the local community. Residents fear that an incident from two years ago might repeat itself. Talking about the altar incident, I believe. Hey, did you just leave me there? No. You really go all the way around the building right now? <laughs> so, anything good in here? As good as it gets. Oh yeah, I got some stuff. Yeah, no, there's some good stuff in here. <laughs> yeah, just some supplies. No big deal. All right, I'm going to check every door because I can. I know that it said 107 on the note, so I'll keep that in mind. Six. Ooh. Maybe it was 106 on the note. Listen up, James. It sure beats running around with those monsters out there. I'm not so sure. There's no handle on that door. I wonder what James is referring to. Is this the place, is this the hotel room or motel room that uh, Walter stayed in? That's weird. That is really weird. Why would he have said that? Alright, this should be, this should not be one. Or on the second floor, it should be a two. And that should be a seven. This should be eight. Yep. Oh no! So seven's blocked, and we got to crawl through the wall. Fantastic. Huh. <sighs> yeah. Can you let me in? Oh god, you're so needy. Luckily, there's a key for the door. Even though that would be for the outside, and the inside would have. Huh. The inside would have. Uh, Why? Thank you, good sir. Just a normal. Deadbolt type of lock. That's fine. Nothing else in here, really. Well, yeah. some thick ass walls. She said they were thin walls, and you could hear people. Some thick ass brick walls right there. He said he was fixing. Hmm. He said he was fixing the pipes in here. One, one less. Three, one more. Eight, three less. Zero, one more. Yep. Sure. I know that's the code hey, for the thing. You think I'd look good in this one? <laughs> um. Sure. I think that's the Not outfit. Quite the ringing endorsement, but hey, I'll take it. I think that's the outfit that they originally had her in. In the first game, of course, it was a little more pixely, so you couldn't tell such detail. But yeah, you coming? Oh, you magically put that back real fast, didn't you? Alright, let's take a look at that code and see what we got. Alright, looks like 0451 maybe? Yeah, alright. It's pretty easy, it's just one, one less. Okay, I'm fine. Why weren't you inside with me? What the hell? I think you just saved my life back there. Oh, I definitely just did. I did. Yeah. So am I. All right, get the hell out of here. Still like how it just fades away. It's pretty cool. Yay. <laughs> Where to now? Just down this way. Yeah, in a minute. All right. Ooh, there we go. What's this? Why? What does this have to do with anything? Why would I have to look at that? I'm very confused. What is that about? I look at some bird poop on a table. All right, that was strange. Is everything all right? I. Yeah, it's just this place. It just gives me the creeps. I'm not sure why. You ever been inside? I... I'm not sure. 
does feel familiar somehow. Hmm. Like a bad memory. It's nothing, really. Okay. I mean, they bothered to put a name on it, so I feel like it's important. Maybe I'll come back to it? Oh. So, James. Three years. That's yeah. a long time. What will you tell her if when you find her? That I love her. Oh, then. Lucky her. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Like I said, three years is a long time. Oh, car's running. All right, not sure what that's about, but I should probably check that out. I can't. Okay, well, so much for that. Oh, okay. Somehow initiated a scene. All right. Strange. This should not be here. Well, it is. So, what now? Now we look for another way. Is that going to be the car running? It's going to drive through and smash the gate? James. James. Start climbing. I thought he was having trouble opening it. No, it was fine. Hey, those things spit. You might want to back up. Oh, no, you didn't. You did not just take my melee weapon away. I like the one with the nails in it better. Although wood has a chance to break. There's more of Stay close. Can I kill them? Oh. No, but I can't be spit on or killed by them, so there you go, that's something. <laughs> I'm assuming they don't break through that fence. Come on. Thank you. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Seems like I can swing the pipe faster than I could the other thing. I would assume it does less damage because there's no nails, but... Oh, could be wrong. Oh, neat. Cool. Not sure which way to go, because that way seemed to open. I wonder if this way is. I wonder if it's multiple ways to get to the same place, or if one's blocked off. Oh, come on. Get the right one. I think that was a headshot. Well, that was, for sure. Little creepy crawlies. Ow. Uh, oh, come on. I was pushing down the whole time. Don't worry, I have no problem using my bullets up right now. I got plenty. Oh. You didn't stagger sideways just a little bit. What? Look, I'll give you the first shot, but not the second one. The second one I definitely hit. Oh man, there's all sorts of places I can go. Really? Son of a gun. Oh, 
Yeah, so this was the long way there. Okay. Nothing special. Things are here. So there was a back call already. Right? Oh, come on. Get off me. Jeez. Oh, come I was running away. There's no way. Yeah, that's what you freaking get. I was running away, ass. I mean, you have two of them, so I can say that. This is true. Anybody else? Ah, did I move that from the outside, huh? Right, I'll go back around to move it, but maybe this is the way I'm supposed to go. It is. Hey, come, come back here. Alright, you're off on your own. See ya. Okay, yeah, I will. I got other places to explore first. Turned out to be useless, but hey, I explored them, so I feel better about it. Come on. Push it. Thank you. <coughs> Dunsky. Nice. Oh, she's... She's over there already. I heard her like she was right next to me, like she ran towards me again. Just want to make sure I kill all of these creatures, as I like to. Yay! Why would we be safe right now? What about this as safe? Because we just ran through a storm with a bunch of creatures? If it was locked, why didn't you reveal the key earlier? The door was locked. She locked it. Probably a safe place. Go ahead inside. Jeez. the light turns on, that means she's busy. Was this an old arcade place? We had Five Nights at Freddy's. Need to kill it? Okay. Twelve. Oh, that was, okay, it was shut. Maria? Hello? Don't care for the mannequin. Say that much. Yeah, where the frick did Maria go? Oh, it's a strip club. How nice. Uh, Maria? Well, she's just gonna disappear on me, then I'll continue through the town myself. Okay, so Maria? she was putting the lights back on. Gotcha. <laughs> what? Oh, come on, don't give me that look. Okay, I'll sit down over here. I was just kidding. Uh-huh. 
We got what stuff is, to do. Is this a special place you met? Don't be silly. Just have to go through and out the front. Then again, now that we're here, can't we stay just for a little while? Catch our breath before we head back out there? I don't have time to take a break. Mary could be out there waiting for me. I know. It's just this place, this whole thing it's like a nightmare i just wanted to get away from it even for a second i'm sorry I... no it's it's fine uh, sorry I, I didn't mean to i guess this place is getting to me too can i pause this without deleting it yes again cool Crazy is one word for it, I guess. I can think of another. What's that? Fucking nuts. Hopeful. Well, that's a nicer way of putting it. Here. What are you doing? Something to take the edge off. Hm. No? You sure? Fine. Be that way. Here's two. I'm dying. We should probably get going. Fine. Ready when you are. Drink it. Can't drink it. All right, it's a nightclub, so any, uh, huh. Austin Pound, I understand that. What's the picture, the ring? Nothing? Okay. Oh, save right there. Is that you? Would you like it to be? I was just asking if you were on the poster. Let me know when you want to move on. Okay, is that the... I wasn't done. A nurse's outfit, but one of the naughty nurse outfits. That's an Easter egg. <laughs> That's an Easter egg from the first one. You gonna dance for me, big guy? <laughs> I'd pay to see that. Yeah, how much you got on you? I can't run again. Why won't it let me run? That was freaking weird. The door closed. I couldn't run. Then she came busting back in. And I still can't run. Is my run broken? Okay. I guess I'll just not run. That's fine. Whatever. Where am I putting that pipe? That's cool. But what's down here? I gotta see what's down here first. Nothing. Yep, Look, nothing. We're on the other side of that chasm. Some detour. But hey, at least we're here. 
Yeah, done right. Here meaning where exactly? Come on, you'll find out. There's a bit more to it than that. If you say so. I don't think I've been here before. Come on. She's just around the corner. She? told around these parts kind of a local legend tells of a woman who was cast out sentenced to die on an island out on the lake there was a man in town who fell madly in love with her how she was on a lake every night he would sneak out never mind row across the lake bringing her food and I feel stupid. Company. <laughs> and every night, she would stand there, on the shore, holding a lit candle to help him find his way. But this one night, a terrible storm broke out. Caught him out in the open, and it blew out the candle. Even in darkness, the man would not give up. He would not turn back. He couldn't. So he fought against the raging waters until finally the lake took him. They say even then, the woman never lost hope. She kept coming out at night, kept lighting the candle to bring her beloved home, to lead him to shore. Not sure how much truth there is to it. It's probably just a fairy tale. But she's become something of a local saint. A patron of undying love. Hence this place. She's not here. What? She's not here. And why would she be? I don't even remember this place. <sighs> this was a mistake. I shouldn't have come here. Hey. It's okay. <laughs> There's plenty of other places to look. We can still... That's probably fine. Come on. I know I heard somebody scream, but I want to look for bullets. So give me a minute. For that, church entrance five. I don't know what that's about. Oh, medicine. See? This is why you don't run off towards someone who screamed. You might not find some stuff. I think it came from inside the theater. I probably did. Yeah, no doubt. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't look before putting my hand down on a shattered Maybe window. You right friggin' okay. idiot. Not much of a movie fan anyway. Yeah, you could unlock the window and, James? and push it yeah. open. Be careful in there. Yeah. Head up, didn't you? 
<laughs> you should have seen your face. I told you, it was this big rat. It jumped right at me from under the seat. You would have screamed too if you saw it. Got this fat so. Hey! A little strange, I gotta say, because in the original, I met them at the Bolarama. So they, they are changing things around, like uh, they did with Final Fantasy VII. It's like same basic story, but they're gonna just rearrange a few things here. Melted ice cream? The frick is that? I see that you didn't make it out yet. Mm, yeah. I just didn't get around to it yet. Well, at least you got your appetite back. Just wipe it on your clothes, you fat uh, lard. Are you alone here, Eddie? so weird. Uh, it's probably just Laura messing around. The little girl? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. I'm gonna go look for her. You coming? Now you want me to come with you? I said it before. Never mind. What are you eating? Oh, freaking gross with the sounds there, guys. Ugh, gross. He is nasty. Who is that girl, anyway? I don't know. All I know is her name. I swear. Uh, didn't you want to go after her? Yeah. Better hurry. Laura can be pretty quick when she wants to. Okay. Suit yourself. I'll talk to you as long as you got a dot in front of you. Again, are you eating melted ice cream? God, you fucking fat ass. I'm 350 pounds. I know I'm a fat ass. I'm currently dieting and exercising to lose it, so I'm not such a fat ass. But that's not the point. The point is that dude is a fat ass. He melted ice cream. I don't get this. Why is there a window here? Shouldn't there be a walkway or something? Doesn't make any sense. Can I do anything? Oh, is this where I'm supposed to? Okay. Just tuck down a little bit, squeeze through. Come on. Hey! You could have said her name instead of just hey. There's a whole lot of nothing going on. I feel like this could have just been one big cutscene and then could have had me leave the theater. Laura, stop! It's dangerous! Well, hey, she got out the front door. You couldn't. Must have some kind of magical ability. Maria? Did you see the little girl? Yeah, I tried to stop her, but she went that way. We can still catch her. Leave her be. I don't care. Does not matter one lick to me. Towards the hospital? Okay. Yeah, so, uh... Pete's Bolarama was supposed to be the place I met Eddie and... Laura before. And the reason I got an achievement for finding the pizza is because... Eddie was eating pizza in the cutscene from the original. In... Oh, nice. In the, in the original Silent Hill 2, he was eating pizza during the cutscene where... Basically, same thing just happened. Uh, except... Laura runs away... And I don't need to chase her upstairs or anything. There is no upstairs to the Bolarama. I just she runs away. That's it. I run after. 
Uh, wasn't multiple options to keep talking to people, though. So, you know, they, like I said, they're changing some things here and there. James, look. Oh. Yeah. Admitted achievement. Reach Brookhaven Hospital, which is a mental institution. Is that a gun cabinet in a hospital? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's empty. Darn, but... Somehow that seems worse. Yes, it does. You're right. At least it gives you a proper gun safety rules over there. Only load your weapon when you're ready to use it. Nah, that's iffy, because you gotta. if there's an emergency and you need your gun, you don't want to have to take the time to load it, too. But everyone's got their own thing. There's shotgun shells. I like that. That's good. Very nice. Where did she go? I don't know. I don't know. Let's look around. Am I gonna be fighting bigger creatures, or does the shotgun just give me a better, better chance against the ones I'm already fighting? Due to repeated instances of keys getting misplaced from this point forward, they are to be returned to the locker at the end of every shift. All staff are required to memorize the padlock combination and are not to disclose it to anyone but authorized personnel and any, under any circumstances. In case of any problems, report to the head nurse in examination room three. Shouldn't you just have them sign them in and out? The director requested the files of the three crucial patients. You know which ones. Could you please bring them to his office? Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Not sure why the wind would suddenly blow like that. Not a nothing again. It looks like there is a key in there. Hmm. I wonder what the combination is. We should look around. It might be written down somewhere. Yeah, it might be. Definitely could be. I mean, more than likely. Even though I was told to memorize it, but yeah, sure. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to have to make it all for the night, though. It's getting kind of late. I'm not even going to be able to edit this until tomorrow, so my episodes aren't going to be every other day. I'm going to have to put two episodes out in a row to make up for that. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know what you think. If you know where it's going, don't do any spoilers. If you don't know where it's going, then I would like you to at least write down what you think is going on. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right, Fluffy Animal, yay! Okay, love you, bye.